All right, so here we are standing here with Brian Hess, Ethan Harkins, and Coach Brad Harkins from Westchester Ruston after their big win tonight. Uh, I'm going to start with Coach Harkins first. Uh, Brad, you know, down two state qualifiers, wrestling a, a pretty tough season, Westchester East team. Tell us what your, you know, what your expectations were and, and then what you got tonight out of your team. Well, we knew they were going to come in ready to go. Uh, they, have a, they have a good quality team, very balanced, and, and you know, we knew they were going to be gunning for us. Uh, but, you know, one of the things that we really try and, and push to the guys is you never know when your number is going to get called. You never know when you're going to get called on to help the team. And, and um, you know, we had guys stepped in there tonight that probably weren't expecting to be out there in a match like this, and, and they did great. They performed, and, and, you know, they had their entire team behind them, and I think that was part of what helped them have success out there. So, Brian, talking to you, senior, uh, you know, having your first opportunity to get on the mat, um, you know, tell us a little about your journey up to this point, like, you know, not, not being able to crack the line until now and, and what it feels like to get out there and wrestle in front of the home crowd in a big match like this. I love it. I love going out in front of that mad varsity and just letting loose, not worrying about the score, not worrying about anything else, just going out there and wrestling. I, I don't I don't personally care about who I'm wrestling. I don't care about their name. I don't care about their status. I don't care about what I've done in the past because what matters now is the six minutes on the mat. So it's a pretty pretty good outlook on how uh, you know you should approach it. So if you're watching home, think about that one. Uh, Ethan, talk about you going out in a time when the match is a little bit in flux and you go out and uh, you know you get the the quick pin. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, tell us about what your thoughts were going into it and what you what what was uh, you know put before you when you got on the mat. My thoughts pretty much were I just got to perform for my team because we needed all the help we could get. We were down, but that's no excuse. And we had guys step up, and I just tried to get as many as much points as I could for my team. All right, guys, I'm gonna put you on the spot now. Uh, Coach Harkins has always been a good sport. Some of these interviews in the past, and some of the guys have, you know, give him a, give him a hard time. So uh, right now, give us something that uh, you know one of his uh, mannerisms that you guys maybe pick up on and, and give him a hard time about. Oh God, mm, there's too many. <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I don't know how to start. You got you got the part where he goes. Kneels down on one knee, starts swinging his lanyard around his leg. He's got a multitude of words that just don't exist. <laughs> like, Argh. I don't know, it's just a guttural yell. Yeah, and it's true. <laughs> yeah, whatever it takes. Ethan, tell us a little bit about what it's like going out there and being able to wrestle too and, uh, you know, for your dad's coach. Uh, I've pretty much gotten used to it. Uh, I've been my coach just about my whole life, even though if he wasn't the head coach of the specific team I was wrestling for, he was always there. And getting used to it with baseball too, just head coach in the building as a teacher as well. So, yeah, I just am pretty used to it by now. All right, guys. Well, you know, I want to wish you guys nothing but the best of luck. You guys wrestled well tonight. Brad, you know, your team again performed, you. Uh, you know, and, and definitely solidified where, you know, Glenn and I had you ranked in the, probably in the, uh, in the preseason. And, uh, you know, again, wish you guys best of luck moving forward. Hope we'll see you around the, somewhere down the line and even maybe district rules. Look, guys. Great. Yep. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Brad. Yep. Appreciate it.